Nikki Partridge. I'm 29 years old and I come from Manchester in England. My areas of interest in regards to Egyptology are the canines of ancient Egypt, the everyday lives of the ancient Egyptians and also the plants and flowers that would have been around at the time of the ancient Egyptians. Now I've studied for Egyptology for a few years now. Over them few years I've been given the opportunity to write various papers on such things as pyramids, temples, um, religion in Egypt, ancient Egypt and also recently my dissertation on the domesticated dog in ancient Egypt and its uses to man. Now via my studies at Manchester University I was given the opportunity to go and participate in a project um, actually run by the American Research Centre in Egypt, specifically Dr Janice Cameron, um, who was operating the project on behalf of Dr Zahi Hawass to digitise and database um, all the handwritten records um, that hold all the information about the collection within Cairo Museum. Now, on my return to the UK, um, after my month voluntary work in Cairo Museum, I was given the opportunity to actually publish um, a brief account of what actually happened in Cairo. And this was done in 2007 in the UK's Ancient Egypt magazine. Now, I do actually have um, some more experience that's more pertinent to mummification. Primarily, I was recently given the opportunity to go behind the scenes at Manchester Museum and have some hands-on experience of their mummy collection. I've also studied mummification techniques from the Old Kingdom in ancient Egypt through to the Greco-Roman period. And I do actually have an appreciation of um, mummy autopsy, um, radiography, paleo-orthodontology and also DNA analysis. Now, what would this experience mean to me? Well. I've been dreaming of being an Egyptologist since I was 14 years old. I've recently actually gained my qualification to be an Egyptologist and why I desperately needed some hands-on experience. Now, I can't potentially think of any other opportunity um, around at the moment that could give me a potentially career-defining experience with the likes of Dr Zahi Hawass and I would do absolutely anything to be given that opportunity. Now, I've been to Egypt many times, um, I've been on the normal tourist treks, um, Nile cruises, visits to Cairo, um, I've been to Cairo three times, um, more recently I've been on a 4x4 trek through the Sahara, going through all the oases. Now, one of my most favourite sites that I experienced on the trip was from the Temple of Alexander the Great in the Bahari Oasis. Now, in the precincts of this temple there was various artifacts left because the temple was actually surrounded by a um, village um, where people actually lived. Now you can see from the pictures taken there's various bowls, um, urns, um, handles that are actually left but my most favourite piece is actually on the next slide um, and if you can see these blocks here now, when you get up close and personal to these, you actually realise that these are the actual handprints of the ancient Egyptians. They inset their hands in clay and let them set and preserve their fingerprints for prosperity. And I just thought that was absolutely fantastic, the way that you can actually touch the fingerprints of the ancient Egyptians. That was one of my most special moments. Now... I've actually been given the privilege of meeting Dr Zahi Hawass twice. Um, first of all, around the precincts of Cairo Museum where I introduced myself as actually working on the American Research Centre in Egypt project. Um, as you can see, still got a bit starstruck, a couple of uh, autographs there anyway. Now, as I've mentioned, I've recently qualified as an Egyptologist and that was actually um, last month in June 2009 and I was privileged enough to be awarded the Certificate in Egyptology um, from Manchester University. There's my graduation photos. <laughs> Um, basically, I've studied Egypt from the Neolithic period through to the Arab conquest, so I have a very good grounding of all periods within ancient Egyptian history. I have um, an appreciation and some <coughs> knowledge of Middle Egyptian hieroglyphs, and I also um, have an appreciation of mummy examination techniques 
and I just want to mention that I gained my certificate under the um, direction of the fantastic um, Professor Rosalie David who actually um, set up the Manchester Museum Mummy Project that's actually um, a catalogue and database of all various different types of Egyptian mummy DNA. Um, what's left to say? Um, Egyptology has been a passion of mine since I was 14 years old. If I'm not watching Egyptology on the telly, um, reading about it, researching, um, I'm actually there. What I would give to actually be back in the country and given this fantastic opportunity to work on such a documentary and also in the shadow of the fantastic Dr Zahi Hawass um, would mean so much to me. Um, I've been dreaming of such things for many years and never actually thought that I'd ever be given such an opportunity. So all I can say is please do consider me. You can't find anyone that's more enthusiastic than me and it would just make my absolute lifetime to be a part of this. Thank you.